Hey, I'm going on a trip. Would you like to see what I'm packing and taking along with me? Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm the Novel Crown because I love bags, purses, and all things novelty. Now hopefully wherever you are, you're doing good, but I wanna get right into this video. There's some things that I really love, things that I enjoy, and I will be taking with me on the trip that I'm going on, and I wanna share those with you guys. But first, let me clear all of this stuff out of the way because I wanna show you what I will be packing it all into. Now I have this rolling backpack that I wanna show you guys that I really, really like. I've been taking it on a few trips and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay guys, now here's the backpack that I'm taking with me. And as you all know, I love a good bag. I love a novel bag, a cute bag, a pretty bag, but when I'm going on a trip, I need a functional bag. So I found this bag on Amazon. The brand is called Star Cloud, and this bag is such a great bag to travel with. Now it does have wheels on the bottom and these wheels are removable and plus it comes with four additional wheels just in case anything ever happens. Look at the roll on this and the spin. Look at that. And this is like this material right here that it's on. This is, it's not carpet. It's like a kind of like a furry uh, material and it rolls like a dream. It rolls amazing on floors, especially, you know, like linoleum or tile or wood. I needed a bag that was functional, that could carry all my things. And I didn't have to have it on my back the whole entire time. Because as you know, backpacks get heavy and they get weighted down, especially when you're standing in lines at the airport. So I needed something that would be functional, something that I could hold everything, and this is what I picked. Now let me show you. So I love this bag. There is a telescoping handle right here. You just pull it out. It's really smooth. It's really quick. I don't like anything fussy, especially when I'm trying to, you know, go through the airport and it just zips right away. There are the backpack straps. Now there is a shield right here that comes out that goes over these back wheels. Like say you you just wanna pick your backpack up, you don't wanna um, take off the wheels. You can put a shield over those wheels so that you know your back won't get any scratches or any dirt or anything that could be on the wheels. I really like that feature. There's a pocket on this side a pocket on that side and also it has a um, a charging port and you just put a charger on the inside of the bag you know one of the portable chargers you plug it in and then you can plug your phone right there on the front of the bag it's a very nice or top of the bag it's a very nice substantial handle and it's like that you know that cushiony and it's not it's not exactly gel but it's nice and cushiony there is a pocket right here there is pocket right here with smaller pockets, a little slip pocket. I have some wipes in there, pin pockets and another little pocket. And there is a pocket right here. I actually have something in and, and I'll show you guys that later. But then there's also the main compartment that has a pocket for the laptop and a pocket for like a tablet or something like that and another padded pocket. And look at the room that's in there. And this is the cord that goes to the outside charging port. So yeah, as much as I love a really cute, pretty bag, I needed something functional. I needed something that's not fussy, something that I can just roll through the airport or roll wherever I'm going and not have to worry that, you know, it's not, it, you know, how sometimes some bags are, they're really pretty and they're cute, but they're just not functional. This right here is a workhorse and I am really enjoying this bag. Now I will say this bag does fit under most um, seats when you're on the plane. You know how you have to put your, like if you have a backpack, you have to put it in the um, seat, under the seat in front of you. I would say that most of the planes that I've been on, this bag will fit in the middle and the one by the window. It hasn't, there's been a couple of times where it didn't fit in the aisle seat, but that's okay. Cause the other, um, I can always put it in the overhead and, or just, you know, if I'm sitting in the middle seat, I can put it underneath, but it's still a great bag. I really, really enjoy this bag. Now enough about the bag. Let me show you guys what I'm packing in it. Okay, guys, I'm back. Now, I will post a link to that bag just in case anyone is looking for a really nice, sturdy, wheeled backpack and very functional. Um, like I said, it does have the port and all of that stuff. It's a great bag. Okay, let me show you guys some of the things that I'm packing in it. 
here's my tech case and on the inside of this i have my i don't know if you guys have seen these before it's one of those calming devices where it vibrates so you push the button and it vibrates and it's supposed to help you breathe and stay calm now it looks like the heart is pulsing right here but in real life it actually is not i think it's just like the frame rate on the camera but i got this at cvs and it was on uh, clearance actually i think it was like 90 percent off i got it for only a few dollars so i figured hey if it works to help me stay calm on the plane then yeah, that's a good deal the next thing i have is my airpods case i need to be able to listen to music I have my Okupa. Now, this is one of the ones that I've shown, shown before, and it is a hand warmer, and you just press the button and it gets really warm on your hands. You know how sometimes the airport is cold, or even when you're traveling wherever you're going, you know, sometimes a bus can be cold or a plane can be cold. You can always have something nice and warm in your hands. It has a light right there on the side. And another cool feature about this is it's a personal alarm. There is a little speaker right there and it gets pretty loud. You know, if you um, press the button and you need um, the alarm to go off, it'll sound. And I actually really like that feature because you know, you just never know. But it comes with a little bag right here, it says Okupa. I got this off of Amazon. I'll post the link to that if anyone is interested or looking for it. I have my NEU charger. Now I really like this charger because I am able to charge two devices on it. There are two charging ports right there on the top. There's a flashlight and also there is a um, phone stand right there. So I really like this. I have two because I um, have quite a few devices that will need charged. I have my phone, my iPad, and some other things. And yeah, that is a really nice charger. It's on Amazon and I will um, post the link to that for anyone who is interested. Set that right there. Okay, so the next thing I have is my, so this is called a Robicell Robonsol Travel Kit. I think I'm saying that right. You guys know I your names. But anyways, I really like this travel kit. I've used it before. And what it is, is it's a cleanser, a toner, an essence, a moisturizer, and a treatment for your face. And I really like this brand. I really love how the different um, products feel on my face. I love the cleanser and I really love this moisturizer. Now the moisturizer is a little bit on, I want to say like the creamier, a little bit heavier side, but it feels really, really good. I really like it. I'll post the link to this and you guys can go on and look at it and look at the ingredient list and see what you think for yourself and if you guys wanted to try it but it's a really um, nice way to travel with your skincare facial wash and cleansers and moisturizers and I like these little tubes and you know there it's a really nice little set so I'll be taking this along with me along with I have some other well, let me show you guys Here's my other set that I'm taking with me. Now in here, I got this, the actual um, case right here, I got this from TJ Maxx, but inside I have these Wonderland bottles. You find these bottles at Target. They're just silicone bottles. Um, uh, travel bottles. Now what you do is there are magnets on the side so you can kind of keep them together. They're not very strong magnets, but they're strong enough to kind of hold it together a little bit. And they come with a pack of labels and you're able to label the bottles. Right now I have um, a facial scrub in one and a lighter moisturizer that I like to use in the other. I haven't filled up all of the bottles yet. Um, I will be leaving here in a couple days, so I still have a little bit of time to fill those up. But I really like these bottles. And one of the things that I really like about the bottles is that even though they're silicone, you know how sometimes you get a silicone bottle and it just doesn't seal well, like seal well, like around the um, sides of the bottle or the um, top of the bottle. This, since it's hard plastic on the bottle, it seals really, really well. I have my moisturizer down in there, or I think this might be my scrub, but when you close the bottle, it closes really tight. And also on the top, it's one of those type of, what do you call that? It's like the, um, what am I trying to say? You know, like the little rubber thing right there that kind of holds the liquid inside so that when you're pouring, you kind of have to squeeze so it's not just pouring out all over your hands. I really like these little um, travel containers though. I've used them a couple of times and really enjoy them. Now here's the bigger set. And this set, it says, it says the ounces, it says 3.4 ounces. And they have um, magnets on the sides as well little plastic thing right there but they have magnets on the sides of these as well and the same sort of lid so I really like these and I will be traveling with them like I said I'll put in my um, body lotion my body wash body scrub things like that and some smaller things in here and I really like that like I said I got them from Target if you guys are looking for something like this I think it's a really nice little set Okay, 
I'll put this over here. Now the next thing I have is my bathroom kit. Now this has my deodorants inside. It has my restroom kit. You guys have seen that right there. It's just a liner, a toilet paper, and a wipe. It has my, okay, so this is, so it's called Panty Fresh on the Go. And I got this at a um, gift shop that was going out of business. Now the funny thing is, I got these for like a dollar a piece. They're actually really pricey on Amazon. I've seen them. I want to say they're like $12 or $13 for one kit, but it comes with a bikini panty liner wipe and wash me bag, you know, to put your, the ones you're taking off in the little bag. But the funny thing is, it's like, I would have gotten a whole bunch of these had I had known how much they were on Amazon. I think I only got like, I want to say three or four of them. I would have got a bunch of them, but it's a really nice little kit for on the go, especially to put into a bag, you know, when you're traveling and you never know what could happen. But I really like this little kit. I just wish I would have got more. And I think they're kind of pricey on Amazon. I don't think I would buy them at the price that they are, but you know, for um, the sale that they were on, I definitely would have gotten some more had I had known. I have some, these are antibacterial hand wipes. And so I have this, um, these are um, called Lactomelli, Lact Lactomelli, Lactomedi Feminine Wipes. That's what it's called, Lactomedi. And what it is, they have, so I'll show you the kit. Hold on. Let me take this out first. So I have this kit right here, and this is a travel kit, like a trial kit, but I'm using it as a travel kit. And it has the same wipes inside, and it has these right here and these are um, gel for women and inside of the gel let me try to see if you can see the ingredient on here it's called lactobacillus ferment that's the name of what of the ingredient but you know how women need certain sorts of you know um, good bacteria in their body um, in that area in order to have good pH and th that's what these are supposed to do they're supposed to help you maintain your pH and especially when you're traveling and you're sitting and you're sweaty and you know whatever stuff happens I like to carry these wipes with me because you just never know and um, I think that they are really good they don't have a smell but they're made let me find the box to them I think I have the box around here okay here's the box the box is a little bit tattered, but this is what it looks like. So it's called Lactomelli. Why do I keep saying Lactomelli? Lactomedi Feminine Wipes. And it is made with lactobacillus ferment. And it's supposed to help, you know, keep your pH balanced and all of that. I really like these wipes for, you know, just for sweat or, you know, whatever you need to wipe. And they're supposed to, cut, you know, keep pH balanced. So that's always good to have. Let me show you guys what else I have. So in here, I think that's empty. And like I said, this is um, care gel for women. Now, if you go to the Lacto um, Medi site, you can, you know, read all about it and read the different ingredients and see if it's something that you would like for yourself. Now, the next thing I have, of course, is my hand sanitizer. Now, this is going to hang on the side of my backpack so that I can always have hand sanitizer at my reach. I have my glass. Oh, you want to know something? I am so motion uh, impaired. <laughs> I get motion sick just at the thought of being motion sick. And these are those glasses. Have you seen these before? These are supposed to keep your brain thinking that there is a horizon. And so when you wear them, you know how your brain, when you get motion sick, it's kind of like a contradiction in between what you're feeling and what you're eyes are seeing and this is supposed to keep the um, horizon in your eyes so you won't get motion sick or to help if you do get motion sick so I'm probably going to use these because I get motion sick really bad and you know, wouldn't know here's the other thing that I have to go with those so this is what I have. So this is a motion sickness watch to help you from getting motion sick and help if you are already nauseous. Now you know those C bands I have C-bands right here. So you know how the C-bands work where the little um, nodule right here goes where your wrist is. Now what this does is it puts these metal plates, you put the metal plates on your wrist and you know put it on and you turn the device on. Well first you put on like either you can, I'm using surgery lube, um, surgical lubricant, or you can use lotion or you know whatever you have. But what you do is you put that on the metal plates you wear it around your wrist like that and it's supposed to give you little pulses that um, stimulate that nerve that helps keep you from getting motion sick. Now what they say is when you use C-bands 
your brain kind of starts to get used to um, the placement of the bands, but when you use the watch, the um, the pulses, they pulse at like different interval, um, intervals, and it helps your brain not to get used to that so that it keep you from getting motion sick. I have not used this yet, but I'm definitely going to be wearing it on the plane on this trip, and hopefully it will keep me from getting motion sick. Well, between that and the glasses, hopefully they both will work. Okay, let me show you. So the next thing I have is my little bag and it has some different things in here. Now right here, I have my nail clipper, you never know. I have some dental floss. I have my eye solution. And I also have, and this is the clear eyes, you know, if you fall asleep on the plane, especially if you have contacts, you definitely wake up with dry eyes. I have my deodorant like to stay fresh just in case I'm sitting next to somebody. And this is my mouthwash. This is one of the, I like this brand. It's called um, Mighty and Tiny. It's the Hello brand. Let me show you. I think the bottle is actually really cute. So this is what the bottle looks like. I kind of use this as the cup. You just take it off and you squirt in there and you put a little bit of water and rinse your mouth out. I really like that. I have, so this is the, um, the pack that goes to my Zoku wipes. This is the refill pack to it. This is my Zoku wipe um, container and it just says Zoku. I got this from um, Uncommon Goods online and it wasn't that much. I want to say it was like, I don't know, I think $12 maybe for this um, container. And I think you get a pack of however many um, refills for $12 as well. And it's a little trouble um, hand sanitizer or hand wipe. What you do is you just put the refill inside, you open it up, and you pull out a wipe. And this right here will hang off of my backpack so I can grab a wipe if I need it. You never know, I might sit down and might need a wipe. And the next thing in here, this is just my little, um, you know, if you get a stray hair on, you know, your face or wherever, you can easily just get that off. I really like using that. The next thing I have is, oh, here, let me show you this. I have my first aid kit and inside it has my Tylenol and you know band-aids and wipes, um, ointments, things like that just in case I need that. Now I know you want to know something it looks like I am carrying a lot of stuff but to me it's really not. I like to be prepared. I don't like to go places and then not have the things that I need or have to go to the store. I have my glasses right here. I have my prescription glasses and a pair of sunglasses just in case I need those, especially when I'm driving. Now in this case right here, so this is just some more little things that just in case, a mirror, I always need a mirror, especially if I wanna um, put on my contacts or I wanna you know, look at myself if you know I have something going on in my teeth or whatever when I just have eaten, I have my um, travel contacts case. Extra contacts, you never know, I might lose a contact down the drain. Oh, one time I was in the bathroom of a restaurant I rubbed my eye and my contact literally popped out into the sink. <laughs> I was so mad. There was no way I was going to pick that contact up and put it back in my eye. So I was just half blind for the rest of the day until I was able to get home. And it was the one time, of course, I didn't have my glasses with me. You know, I always tell you I have to have my glasses with me because I'm going to be blind and I can't see. Believe me, I was, oh my gosh, I was so glad I had that one contact and I kept trying to drive and like close one eye to be able to see out the other. <laughs> but definitely, definitely, I have to always remember to carry my contact, you know, extra contacts or my glasses. So the next thing I have, so this is Style Edit Root Concealer. Now I have braids in my hair right now because it's just easier when I travel, but I tend to, I just, you know, tend to get a small amount of grays on my um, on my roots. So this right here is the kind that I really like. This is black because my hair is black, but I just spritz a little bit where I need it and it really covers those up. And this is a really good kind. I've used other ones, you know, the, um, I think Clairol has one and some other different ones. This is just my uh, favorite one. I think it works really well. It doesn't sweat off or anything like that. And I'll post the link to that for anyone. You never know, someone might need it because I know I do. This right here, actually, this is just a bottle that, so there is um, hair mousse inside of here, but it is the foaming mousse. But if you see right down in there, this is one of those, it was, I got it as an empty bottle and I'm able to use um, the pump 
to be able to um, have mousse. Now I know it looks liquid, but that's because I sat for probably a couple of, um, I don't want to say hours, but maybe. <laughs> but what I did is I took my actual can, like canister of mousse, and I, um, so I just went really, really slow and got the mousse in here um, as liquid as I could and just let it sit and it went back to liquid. But when I pump it out, it comes out as mousse. And this is what it looks like. I got it, I'm gonna say I got it off of Amazon and it's just a bottle that turns like your liquids or whatever into mousse. And I really like that because it's my favorite. Um, this type of mousse that I'm carrying with me is my favorite one. They didn't have it in a travel size, only the big canister, but I was able to make it work. The next thing I have is my all clear. And this right here, I think I've shown this to you guys. It helps you from being nauseous or motion sick. It's a scent. It's like a really strong kind of like herbal minty scent. And it helps you just in case you are motion sick. I don't know if you guys, um, if any one of you get motion sick, you know how that feels. So you try to do everything to stop being motion sick or not get motion sick, just try to prevent it altogether. And this actually just helps with the, you know, the smells and the scents, it just helps open your airways up so you can breathe. I have my lip balm that I'm taking with me and I got this from Bath and Body Works. It is the Vanilla Mint Supreme. I have my Peter Thomas Roth and this is the um, Intense Firm Eye Cream. And just in case, you know, if I fall asleep or something and my eyes get all puffy, which they do tend to get puffy sometimes, I have my bottle of, um, this is glass um, glasses cleaner, so I can clean my glasses if I need to do that. Let me see what else. Oh, don't want to forget this. So I have my little kit right here that has in it, so if you're anything like me, I get constipated when I go on trips, especially long trips. So I have my fiber powder sticks and they don't taste like anything. It's just, you know, I think I got these from, I think maybe CVS or Walgreens and I just got a box of them and these help to stay regulated. And I have my Mage Probiotics. So this is the probiotics that I like. It's called Mage Probiotics for her. And there's the different strands that they have in it. And this just works really well for me to keep everything, you know, if you know, you know, <laughs> keeps everything pretty good for me. And I've been using these, I wanna say for probably about, I don't know, two and a half months or so. And they work really well. I really like these. And honestly, I actually can tell a difference with those. And like I said, if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. And I'm just taking a little strip. This is kind of how they come. They're like these little blister packs right here. Just taking a strip of those to keep my digestive system going well. The worst thing that can happen is to be on a trip. You know, you want to have fun. You want to have a good time. But if you get constipation and your stomach's bothering you, uh, it's not a good time anymore. I have my nail clippers right here. Just a little kit just in case I might need to clip my nails and I'm coming to a clip. Oh, I have my, hold on, let me show you this. I have my, these are actually dry wipes. I got them, this is the box that they come in and they're those wipes, you know, the ones where you can clean your face and your skin and your body. I love these ones. These ones are really, really nice. And the reason I like these is because when these get wet, they stay firm. Whereas I have these and I loved these for a long time. I must've been using these for about probably six months. I really liked them. One of the things that, um, that I didn't like is it's, although it's a great towel, you have to use it really fast because the towel tends to get extremely soft. If you get what I mean, you see how there's texture right here, but if it's wet for too long, I've noticed that the texture just goes away and it gets really soft. I don't really like that because then it just feels like I'm not cleaning as well, if that makes sense. So I um, switched to this brand right here and these, the texture is just a little bit better in my opinion and they just stay firm longer. Like I feel like I can wash for a lot longer without the towel just kind of getting like really, really soft, like just too soft and too like slippery, if that makes sense, which is what the other one does. So that's what I'm carrying in here. And I got this little um, pack, like the actual plastic part. I got it from Timu, but I love the um, these wipes right here. I got these off of Amazon. If anyone's looking for them, I will post a link to those. I, I really like that brand, definitely. But yeah, I'm just taking some of these with me. Let me see what else. 
Oh, I want to show you this. So I'm actually not carrying this in my backpack. This is actually going to care, um, go in my check luggage. And this is one of those Leopara kits. I got this, you know, they sell them on Amazon, but to me, they're kind of pricey. I got this off of Poshmark, I don't know, probably a couple years ago. And I sometimes use it. I don't carry it with me all the time, but this time I'm going to carry it with me because I'm going on a um, longer trip. But I really like these because what they are is they are lights that go on your mirror. So, you know, when you're in the bathroom, imagine your mirror and you put the lights, you know, one, two, three, four, and you turn them on and it gives you like that um, dressing room light um, to be able to see and to be able to, you know, do your hair or your makeup, especially if your bathroom that you're going to um, be in is a little bit um, dark. These actually really help and it comes with a charger right there and they come in this case. And this is one of the things that I will be, like I said, putting it in my check luggage and I will carry it with me because you never know, you might need a little extra light. I actually really like this. I've used it a few times. I'm definitely going to carry it this time. And then, of course, I have my wipes, my Purell wipes. You know, if I'm sitting on the plane, I need to wipe the tray in front of me. Cottonelle wipes, you know, for, you know what they're used for. And my Lumi wipes. And these are the deodorant wipes, like for under your arms or, you know, wherever you feel like you need a, a little freshening. I don't typically like the Lumi deodorant. I've tried it before. It's just... There's an underscent. I don't even even know if that's a word, but it's almost like there's an underscent that just doesn't work well with me. I don't know. I mean, do you guys like the Lumi brand? Maybe it's just the the scents that I've had, but the ones that I've had, I haven't really liked very much. Okay, the next thing I'm bringing with me, my camera. You want to know where I got this camera? Do you guys remember some months ago? Must have been. I don't know. I'm not good with timelines six, seven months ago, I did a video about um, the Goodwill online store. Well, I found this camera on the Goodwill online store. Now this camera is, it's called the Coolpix P610. I had this camera years ago when it first came out, ended up selling it and wanted it back ever since. For some reason, I was just on the Goodwill website. I saw this camera come up immediately bid on it no one else bid on it i ended up getting the camera for 52 dollars. i love this camera so much this has a crazy zoom 60 times zoom when i tell you the pictures that you can get i mean i'm getting craters off of the moon type pictures and i mean i've been places where i'm just standing there and i can zoom in and i can see you know way away from me i can see my kids at you know their game or you know just wherever i love 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 this camera and the reason i'm bringing it up like i said i mean obviously i'm taking it with me but you guys never know what you'll find on the goodwill um shop goodwill.com and here's the funny thing this camera was actually brand new when it came to me i mean brand new like it still has the texture, I don't know if you can, oh, sorry, my phone just glitched when, you know, when the battery tells you that your battery's getting low pops up. <laughs> sorry about that. But anyways, you know how the texture, um, when you've had something for a while, it kind of wears down and it gets smooth or you, um, have oils from your fingers and it gets kind of shiny. You get what I mean. Anyways, this was brand new when it came in the box. I love this camera. One of my all time favorite cameras. You never know. Check out goodwill.com. You never know what you'll find. Okay. This is one of the things I actually just now plugged into my phone because like I said, my phone battery was about to die, but I'm actually going to use this for the bag. You know, the port that I showed you guys on the bag, um, the charging port, this is um, the, I guess, dedicated charger that I'm going to use for it. I really like this charger. It's a really nice, long, substantial charge. I can charge quite a bit off of this thing before needing to be recharged. And I found this off of Amazon, and I'll try to find the link to it if anyone is interested. I really like that. Let me see. What else? Okay, the last thing I have, actually, is my umbrella. So it is my avocado umbrella. I got this, I'm going to say, from Timu. It's a tiny little umbrella fits into this case because you never know I think where I'm going it's going to rain the first or second day that I'm there and actually it's been raining here a little bit but yeah I have that with me so that's all that I'm carrying I know it seems like a lot it looks like a lot actually but to me these are the essentials and if anyone has seen any of my other videos you guys know I love novelty love to carry the essentials and a little bit extra so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of some of the things that I'll be carrying on a trip. 
now I have to pack all of this in my bag. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for stopping by. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't. I'd love to have you come to my channels or come to my videos when I put up some of my novelty. And if you're looking for novelty purses and novelty goodies, then stay tuned for some more videos. And as always, thank you so much. I will see you again in my next video. Bye.